I'm Bronco, and this is the Card of the Day calendar for Tuesday, August 23rd. Today is National Cuban Sandwich Day. And if you're like me, you're probably looking it up. Well, a Cuban sandwich is ham, roast pork, Swiss cheese, pickles, and mustard on Cuban bread. There you go, you learned something today. All the scores and highlights, you can learn these too, from yesterday's action Major League Baseball can also be found on the right side of your screen. Now let's get on to history. On this day in 1985, Joaquin Andujar earns his 20th win of the season, becoming the first pitcher to accomplish this feat that year. As the St. Louis Cardinals defeat Atlanta 6-2, it's his second consecutive 20-win season, which makes him the first National League pitcher to do that since Joe Necro won 20 games in 1979 and 1980. Now, if you watched our video from Sunday, you saw You Make the Call, and I'm going to spell out what happened. So I was the buyer, prospectively, in that transaction, in which I picked 11 cards out of a dollar box, and I kept hearing, oh, there's some really good deals in here, which they were okay, I guess. Um, nothing to write home about, including the card that you see on the screen there. And that's a picture of it, because when the vendor said he wanted $11 for the 11 cards, I decided, you know what, I'm going to pass on this whole thing and I politely handed him the cards back and moved on to the next table. My friend actually had a funny idea that maybe in retrospect I should have done. He said what you should have done is paid with a $100 bill and kind of inconvenienced him to give you extra change, which I guess is funny, but anyway, so that was the transaction. I kind of assumed that when I picked the 11th card out and I was counting, like, oh, I got 11 here, I'll offer him 10. I'm sure he'll do it. He didn't. And he's well within his rights to ask whatever price he wanted. And I just didn't feel like paying the extra dollars what it boiled down to. So thanks for all of you that left a comment and played along. It was kind of interesting to see the various comments on the situation. And maybe we'll do another one of these at some point down the road. Now, birthdays in Major League Baseball. Mike Boddicker turned 65. He won 134 games in a 14-year career, posting an ERA of just under 4 at 3.80. He pitched for Baltimore, Boston, Kansas City, and his last 10 starts all came with the Brewers in 1993. Julio Franco turned 64 today. That just doesn't seem possible. It seems like he should still be playing. In fact, he might be. Anyway, he had 2,586 hits in a great 23-year career, finishing with a 298 batting average and 173 homers, and kind of forget about this aspect of his game, 281 stolen bases. He played five years with three different teams and eight clubs in all. And yesterday was Carl. Today, it's Mike Yastrzemski. He's turning 32 today. This year with San Francisco, he's batting 208 with 12 homers and 44 RBIs. Don't forget, in 2020, he was eighth in the National League MVP voting. And now we go to our Player of the Day here on the Card of the Day calendar. And we're on 1980 Donruss Month, and we've got the great Bo Jackson. There's probably not much I can add to his career. You certainly know him as an outstanding athlete, a great football player who was pretty fair at baseball in his own right. In eight years, the Kansas City, Chicago, the White Sox, and the Angels, he batted 250 with 141 home runs, 82 stolen bases, all coming in 694 games. Bo knew it all, including the All-Star Game, which he won the MVP in during his 1989 season. That year for Kansas City, he batted 256 with 32 homers, 105 RBIs, and he swiped 26 bags. Hope you enjoyed this edition of the Card of the Day calendar. We'll be back tomorrow. Sports out.